rewards teachers. Here is a short tutorial to help you get your students logged in to the student web portal and the student app. Students are first going to be directed to this website, pbislogin.com. Once they arrive here, they are going to select the option for student login here in the middle. When this tab comes up, there will be several options for single sign-on, including Google, Clever, and Classlink. If students do not have those options, they can also enter an authorization code generated by the teacher. As a staff member, we can generate that auth code in the staff web portal. Let's go there now to get those codes. Staff members can generate authorization codes in two places in PBIS Rewards, here in the log login auth codes, or also in groups. Let's go into groups because that's where most educators will spend time with their classes of students. I'm going to select a group. Once my group comes up, I am going to select all of the students in my group because I would like to create a group code for them. And I'm going to come all the way over to this icon that says auth for authorization and come down to group code. Once this menu comes up, I'm going to make some decisions about how long of a time I would like them to have available to activate their student web portal or the student app using this code. Once that is selected, I am going to click this button that says generate. And not only do I have a code that is made of numbers and letters, but I also have a QR code. So when I click this button that says display, this would make it much larger for my students to be able to see up on a screen. So let's first take the code that is made with numbers and letters and log students in to the student web portal. Back in the student web portal, we are going to enter that authorization code issued by the staff member. We're going to click here in this box and enter that number and click sign in. Then we're going to select ourselves by typing our name in as a student. And then we will be logged into the student web portal. And here as Mia Baker, I can see there's lots of information including my balance of points. And there are going to be several options of things that I can review here options that I can purchase if student purchasing has been turned on for me. So now I have been logged into the student web portal. Let's log on next in the student app using the QR code. Students can download the student app in their Google Play or App Store, any place they would find apps for their mobile device. And I am going to come down to the button that says scan teacher QR code and selecting that it is going to turn on my camera and I will be able to select that QR code. And then I will be able to search for my name as a student. And then once I do that, I am logged in here in my student APP and I'm going to select this button that's at the very top that says remember me. So then I can always log into my PBIS Reward student app. Again, my options are the same as they are in the web portal. I can see my balance of points along with lots of other detailed information here in the student app. Thank you for joining us today to learn more about student logging in through the student web portal and the student app. Remember that the web portal and the student app are similar in nature and functionality. So these will work in the same in either platform. Please come back next time to learn more about point details in the student web portal. Have a great day.